Hardy Tartar bitches, it's your boy that had the motherfucking zombie back up in this bitch with a quick video because I haven't uploaded one in fucking, I'd say three, four days now. Uh, the last video I uploaded was from last week, so I've been working, I got my work shirt back over here, same with my fucking hat. But, um, I even got my work shoes right here. I gotta say, these fucking shoes suck dick. Even my co-workers agree that these shoes fucking suck, but they do the job. I don't bust my ass, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, that's not what this fucking video is about. I doubt y'all watch my channel to hear anything about my boring ass life. So, <clears throat> uh, recently, well, weeks ago at this point, around... Say, just like, let's say around the week before my birthday, uh, Chris Calico left Strange, because I did some research into what apparently his contract, contract, contract with Strange expired, which, you know, whatever, contracts expire all the fucking time with labels, should be nothing new, but, um, yeah, I thought it was weird because I thought Chris was, Chris Calico was one of the main guys up at Strange, but then out of the blue he re-signed to Strange. Okay, weird, very weird, but okay. Why couldn't y'all talk this out before his fucking contract expired? I don't know. That's just my opinion. Um, yeah, let me see, there's another article on Figo Lovers, which I will leave a link to down below, let me find it real quick, now, the, now, this is just me paraphrasing, I'm reading off the article, right here, I will leave it linked down below, my phone can stop being a piece of shit for a sec, now, I'll leave the link to the article talking about another article. I'm only reading the bullet points on here. Chris Calico sp speaks to Hip Hop DX about re-signing with Strange Music. By this point, we all know that Chris Calico briefly left Strange after his contract expired. <clears throat> and then was re-signed within a few weeks at a historic show in Denver, Colorado. Now that the dust has settled, Chris had a, had a chance to speak with, to Hip Hop DX and all that. Now, here's here's what kind of confused me a little bit. <clears throat> uh, okay, and the article he covers, the emotional announcement on stage, his wife's, his wife and her influence on the decision, speaking to other labels before re-signing to Strange. Sorry, Chris, I don't really see you being on any other label but Strange. That's all I, I, I've seen you on with Strange. If you get mad at me for saying that, kiss my fat ass. <laughs> um, strange music being a family. They said m and &E was a family. Look what happened to Gorilla Voltage. Oh! That was a joke. That was a joke. Keep the Twizzler tears in your eyeballs. It was a joke. I love Gorilla Voltage. Now that I got a job, I can start... I can buy all the CDs that they have on mine. Fucking hate this charger. All right. Chris considering quitting rap and working for a custom car shop. Um, I didn't really think you were doing much rap for a while there, bud. So what would you really be be quitting? I'm, I'm not denying his fucking talent. Guy was talented at rapping. He was talented at singing, but for a while his main thing was singing. He he still rapped here and there. On Tech Nine tracks, he did background vocals. He was always that haunting voice. Um, yeah, so I mean, hey, you do what you want to do, homie. Even though Chris probably don't fucking know who I am, and if he did, he'd probably hit my guts right now. Cause I just told him to kiss my big fat ass. But um, like, uh, if you want to quit rap and, ch and chase something else, go ahead. You know, who am I? Who? Who are who is anybody to tell you different? Uh, to fucking stop chasing what you want to do. 
if you want to work for a custom car shop, go ahead. You still have your records from the past to swing back on. Even though it wouldn't hurt to have something new. Something that wasn't go. Yes, I'm very very well aware that Chris Calico was a church guy. I didn't care. I dug his music. Alright, let's move on. Kind of went on a dumb tangent there. Feeling like he was taken for granted. Okay, this one I can kind of understand because Chris was all over everybody's music from fucking tech to Prozac. I'm not entirely sure about Seth's crew to cut Kyle Hall when he, he was on the label. He was all over everybody's shit. Now, I don't know what went on behind the scenes. I'm not even going to be like, oh, it was probably this and fucking this and this. Because, uh. one, I'm better than that. And, two, again, I don't know what went on behind the scenes. But I can kind of see where it's come from. Because he was all over tech shit. He was all over a lot of people's shit on Strange. Oh, man. And, uh, yeah. I can kind of see where he's coming from on that. I myself feel like I'm being ta uh, uh, taken for granted for other things, but that's my personal life. Y'all don't don't uh, really care about that, I'm sure. But um, and the last point, which is creative freedom at Strange Music. I really don't know what he means by that, because when Brother Lynch was on the label, they let him do his horror course stick. They let Prozac do his horrorcore stick. Whenever the fuck he decides to, to crawl out of the catacombs and actually drop a fucking album. Sorry, Prozac. We need some new shit, dude. I, I loved Black Ink. I really did. It was one of your best fucking projects yet. Actually, it's my favorite of his. Um, creative Freedom. I mean... Uh, it, it is what it is. I don't really follow Strange all that much. They're not my favorite label out there. Uh, Independent-wise, I'm not saying they're my least favorite. Well, I guess I, I kind of am in that regard. But I still love a lot of acts on Strange. I, I, I like Mayday. I love Sess Crew. Love Prozac. Love Crits. Not Crits. Chris, that damn it phone, shut the fuck up. Uh, let's see. Even fuck with some old Tech Nine. I don't like his shit now, and I was hearing. I was actually listening to his uh, Strangulation Cipher. If you're gonna call me a nagging bitch, fuck you, Tech. <laughs> it's not my fault that I prefer your old shit more than your new shit. Your new shit. Tech, dude, I love your grind, I do, but I'm not a sarcastic hating bitch because I prefer your older shit. I don't think you went mainstream. I think you've actually got more mainstream appeal nowadays than you did back then. If that makes any sense to y'all. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, he he killed it in the sh uh, Strangulation 2 cipher though. He did. I only want the best for you, Tech. Same for you, Chris. Just make up your mind. Are you staying on Strange, or are you wanting to work at a car shop? I mean, I suppose you could do both. It might be a, a pain in the ass to find a way to work in the car shop with the rap thing, but hey. It is what it is, yo. Peace. Sorry, y'all, I had to cut that ending short. This is an extra note, because at this point, I'm editing the video. I'm just throwing in a little extra clip. Um, all in all, man, I hope for the best in, in, in Chris's case. I, I hope he does what he wants to do, you know. Again, if it is working at a fucking car shop, custom car shop, be my fucking guest, dude. But, um, yeah, just... I don't know. I still think it's all 
a little weird that he's jumping from strange to not being unstrange and how that was. I don't know if I'd say it was a few weeks. It was, to me, it felt like at the most two weeks. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> That's it, y'all. I'm going to make another video. Now, for my own sake, I'm going to be wearing another fucking charm in the next one. So, in case you couldn't get a good view of the one in here. I'm going to be wearing another one for my next video so I can tell the two videos apart for my sake. But, uh, yeah. So, by this weekend and early next week, I'll have a couple videos for y'all. Peace. Much clan love. Uh, go check out this Jaded Skeleton. It's been up for a couple weeks now. I'll leave a link to the playlist down below for that. I'm very proud of this album. Some of my best work. I still have to put in all the fucking tags. Yeah. That's kind of my fault. But, peace, y'all. Link to Jay Skeleton down below. Oh, free that. Sing. In disguise